We are back now with your 17 Crime Watch and new details tonight on a story we have been following for you since Sunday. Police have identified Army veteran Elliot Davis as the man who barricaded himself and his four-year-old son inside a house for 12 hours. 17's Perla Shaheen spoke with Davis's relatives about why he did it. Perla? Yes, Jim, today I sat down with his brother, sister, and nephew to hear more about Davis's time in the Army and his long-term struggles with PTSD. 39-year-old Elliot Davis allegedly beat his ex-wife with a hammer, grabbed their four-year-old son, and set off multiple explosions to avoid police. Going in. Bakersfield police say he barricaded himself and his son at his brother's house near Memorial Hospital on San Dimas and 32nd Street Sunday afternoon. The standoff lasted 12 hours and came to a close on Monday morning when a SWAT team smashed into the house and rescued the four-year-old boy. Today, Elliot Davis's family speaks up about his severe mental illness. He joined the service. Shortly after 9-11, he felt like it was his duty to go over there and fight. And unfortunately, like a bunch of soldiers that came home, he came home with severe PTSD and was never the same. His family says Davis served two tours. One was in Afghanistan, the other in Iraq. His nephew, Adrian Barone, says he often spoke with Davis about his time in war. This one would be in Iraq. He says while Davis was serving in Iraq, his convoy drove off a cliff and crashed into a river. Davis was later diagnosed with a traumatic brain injury. And I know that's it's played a part in his mental illness. And then that combined with the PTSD and just, it was never treated properly. Mm -hmm. Davis ended his service uh, in 2005. Now, I, I just, uh, 17 News spoke with him in 2010 about the, the mental house. toll of coming back from my war. Mom. He can't really connect with anybody, like on an emotional level, because they don't understand how you feel, you know? Davis said his job was to hunt down and kill people. If you're over there and your body's being pumped full of adrenaline for a year straight, you know, that's one of the best drugs there is, is adrenaline. And then you come home strung out on adrenaline. Davis's sister, Cassandra Barone, says she could tell he had changed after his service. It was evident, you know, he was not the same. Um, he was more paranoid, um, more easily, like, agitated. His family enrolled him into a program for veterans with PTSD around six years ago and says he improved for a while. But he slowly fell into bad habits. Davis turned to alcohol and other drugs to deal with his problems. I was concerned and wanted to try to get him mental help and he refused to listen to me. So I just tried to be there for him the best way I could. His family hopes he will get help for his mental illness instead of going to prison. Daniel Shook and his wife's house is destroyed after the 12-hour standoff. They have a GoFundMe if you'd like to help the family recover from the damage. You can find the link on our website at KGET.com. Perla Shaheen, 17 News.